Uh, well, my name is Victor Zarate, but most people know me as Range. Uh, it was a name I acquired in elementary school, and I've been using it ever since. I kind of grew up in the era where hip hop was like really booming at the time. If you weren't trying to be a DJ or a rapper, you were doing graffiti or you were break dancing. And so I was still young, so it was more like the older generation that was really, you know, getting it, you know, going. And um, I just caught wind of graffiti at an early age. I had a lot of surgery in New York City as a kid and I spent a lot of time in the hospital. So I was able to see like, you know, the tagging, you know, out there and then coming home and seeing people like emulate it. It was just something that I wanted to do. Like growing up in the inner city, you know, your, your influences are kind of like the people around you, you know, but I think I like doing graffiti, but I was also intrigued with like art in general. Like I, I wanted to be an artist. I like paintings and you know looking at paintings or sculptures and stuff like that. But it was just those things that like you couldn't afford. You know, spray paint was always cheaper, so it was easier to you know to work with that before anything else. You know, before buying an oil set. I became a father at an early age. So my first attempt at community college <clears throat> was all right, but it didn't last too long. I think like a semester or two. Um, but even in those two short semesters, like um, I was able to see uh, different galleries and it kind of changed my perspective on, you know, the direction of where I wanted to go. You know, do I want to stay tagging up the streets or do I want to try to get my work in galleries or, you know, get, you know, worldwide exposure as a legitimate artist, you know. So I think the college part of it definitely helped me view art and really as a business looking at it, you know, in, in a different perspective that I was used to doing. And then my second attempt, I, I made it worthwhile. <laughs> I was determined to try to make the best of, you know, every opportunity that I encountered, uh, not only artistically, but academically. You know, I was on the Dean's list all four semesters. Um, and again, you know, just trying to take in whatever I didn't learn on my own or in the street or, you know, that had graffiti connotation to it. You know, just totally, you know, I, I really like art history. I, I find it very intriguing um, because even some of the things that the old masters use, like we use in graffiti, like our, the crew that I'm in, we use a lot of tenebrism and, you know, with the black and background and like, so it, it's kind of cool to be able to tie those two things together and even let my, you know, my friends know, like, this is where I came from. Now I can educate them at the same time, you know. We travel, like I've traveled to different cities. I've painted in St. Louis. Um, I've taken part in Art Basel in Miami, um, San Diego, uh, Hawaii. People that know me, I, I've grown up in the neighborhood, in the city, you know, a lot of people know me for my work in the street, but don't know you know, how I work in the studio. But when I'm in the studio, basically I try to keep it professional, you know. <laughs> I try to have all the, you know, the professional elements of a, you know, stereotypical, you know, art studio. You know, the table, the, um, I have a setup for airbrushing, I have a setup for drawing and, and painting. You know, now I have a garage. <laughs> where I can actually spray paint. <clears throat> so my artwork, it, it stems from graffiti. Um, graffiti, you know, is not only lettering, 
but graffiti is kind of like a mixture of characters and letters. Caricatures that have to meet like a certain criteria to be in that category of graffiti. You know, they have to have certain hand poses or, you know, the clothes that they're wearing or the eye shapes, the head shape. So I, I kind of started from that and then I went into, you know, just more caricature work, just with like an urban flair. As a teenager, I was heavily into airbrushing and I, my goal was always to be able to do like portrait work uh, with the airbrush. The one thing that I always try to throw out there when I talk to up and coming artists and students alike is never be afraid to think outside of the box. Like in art, although there's thousands of artists, hundreds of thousands of artists, I always and I firmly believe that in the art field, there's always something that no one has created yet. Whether it's a style, whether it's a subject matter, whether it's a medium, you know, in art, you know, there's so many people that go to school for art and they follow everything, you know, by textbook, you know, but I think going against the grain kind of puts you in a better position, you know, although some people aren't comfortable with you know, the criticism or the attention, you know, but um, I, I think going against the grain and thinking outside of the box is what really uh, pushes artists ahead.